Hey everyone, it's Ryzen. Welcome back to, uh, let's play Final Fantasy IV. Well, I need to sell some things. Uh, I did a couple of things off screen. But I did forget to store one thing. <laughs> I meant to store the flame shield. I mean, I'm not, probably not going to use it again, but I don't know. I like to store that elemental protection stuff just because... I don't know, you never know, you could change your mind on it, right? Probably not gonna use it again, but I'd like to store it. I could actually keep it out, because I might actually want to equip a shield on Kane uh, For summoning a Chimera Brain, but nah, I don't think it's necessary. Now, I've also went ahead and I got out the... What is it? Uh, let's see. The Blood Sword and the Blood Lance. I had those stored, I just got them out. Is that... All I got out? I believe so. Yes. Oh, and I, I also have the angel arrows out as well. I don't know why I stored those. Uh, yeah, I plan to use them. So, they're equipped on Rosa right now. Silencing arrows, I could store those, but I'm just going to hold on to them for now. Fairy Claw, I might use in the next area, but probably not. If Edge was in the front row, I would probably use it, but I don't think so. I do want to sell that Sage's Surplice because we just don't need it anymore. We can go ahead and sell the Black Robe. Don't need that anymore. Beast Theories are useless to us. Mythos Staff, I sell that. Ice Lance, it could be useful, but I'm just going to sell it. I really don't care. We can buy the thing again if we wanted to. I think it's a... No, actually, we, could, we can't buy it right now. It's in uh, Eblon, but I don't care to use it. You could actually bring the Poison Axe with you, but I stored it already, and I don't really think it's necessary. I got the Ogre Killer if I really care. Sadly, it's not two-handed, but, you know, take what you can get, right? Anything else? I don't think so. So I got the Sage's Miter and the Luminous Robe, obviously, still in my inventory. Uh, Equipment-wise, let's see. Rose has got her set up for strength. Man, she's really powerful. Uh, there's a lot of giant-type enemies coming up for some weird reason, so Angel Arrows are good. With the Yuichi Bow there, Green Beret, Black Belt Gi, that's good stuff for her. Obviously, you get the Defender Shield for, or Defender, you know, for Cecil and the Aegis Age Shield. Fairy rods set up on Rydia. Just rods aren't, or bows aren't very good for her. So, anymore. So, just kind of stick with that. Kane with his Avenger set up. Got the power armlet like, because I think he needs the exerve. Does he still need that? Or can we actually go back to a diamond glove? 59 multipliers. 10 multipliers. No, he needs it. Okay. And Edge. Got the Mage Masher, because there's some Mage type enemies as well. Could actually use the Fairy Claw, but you really probably want to... Well, actually, no, it could work, uh, but he loses a lot of attack power that way. But it will work against a Giant type enemy. There's actually a Machine Giant type enemy in the next area. So if you use both the Lightning Claws and the Machine... Or Fairy Claws, I think they stack with Edge, and uh, he could do a lot of damage if he was in the front row. I think he could even damage cap, but it's not really worth it. The enemy's not really that threatening. So, we're going to the Sealed Cave now. I've done all my preparations, so let's go ahead and head on in. Oh, and I also have 50 Phoenix Downs. Just buy some. You're going to want a bunch of them. And spider sticks at the top of the inventory. Reflect is at the top. You're going to want that. So let's head on in. Now we've already fought, uh, I think, the Nagaraja here, but that's about it. So let's go ahead and see what else we got. Oh, right. You got to use the Lucas Nicholas. If you didn't buy that extra diamond arm, arm not armlet, but diamond armor. Uh, you probably want to do that. I'm going to have it equipped on Cecil, obviously. 
He could actually equip the Luminous Robe, but I wouldn't bother. I'm gonna head south. Now, I think in, yeah, in this version, you climb automatically when you touch the rope. In some versions, I don't think that's the case. They also sped up the animation for it, which is nice. So, we've got a trap door here. Okay, well, not anymore. First we've got... Ah, the Vampiress. She's weak to fire and holy. Uh, we're gonna wanna have Edge attack her while Rydia readies Ifrit to take out the Vampire Bats. Unfortunately, they blood feast all the damn time. If we can get Rydia's turn. I hate how it lags like this with your turn commands. Not bad, Edge. If you would get Ifrit, please. Eh, yeah, Kane might be able to take out a couple. Rosa probably could take one out too, but... Eh, we got Ifrit. Might as well just use it. But yeah, Rosa's arrows are good against them. Since they're also weak to throw. These they are. Yeah, they're weak to fire and throw. The Vampiris is weak to fire and holy, not throw. But that takes care of them. They're pretty common here. Sometimes you'll fight two Vampiruses. In that case, have Edge focus on one while Cecil and Rosa focus on the other one. And Rydia can prep Ifrit just in case, you know, Kane doesn't manage to help you out enough. Sometimes he'll do stupid things. Or things that would not go your way. Wow, really? Same exact battle, huh? This time, let's use, uh... Since Kane took out one of the bats, let's go ahead and see if Cecil can take one out. I don't think so. Okay. Oh, he can, okay. <laughs> Rosa could also probably one-shot them, if you don't want to use Ifrit. Sometimes you'll fight, like, a really large group of those bats, but... Anyway, for the first fight here, I want to remove the Avenger, because I don't want to kill this guy. Well, I do want to kill him, but I want to make sure that I'm able to summon... Well, whatever. You you'll see. He's going to use... Well, a thing. And it's going to be unpleasant. So he's targeting Cecil, so I could get Reflect and Reflect on him. I don't want to do that right now, because I want him to summon an enemy. This guy's supposed to be immune to instant death, but for some reason, he's not immune to his own instant death. I don't really know why, but it's strange that it bypasses it. I'm trying not to kill him. Oh, uh, Edge could have had the Kiku Ichimanji equipped, but I forgot. Come on. Somebody damage him. Just enough not to kill him. Or we can kill the guy. That's not supposed to happen. We learned Blizzaga out of it. Uh, wow, okay. Um, that's weird. I, I don't know why that happened. I mean, whatever. I needed the Beastery entry anyway, but... You see, what I like to do is damage him just enough not to kill him. He'll summon the Chimera Brain, attack the Chimera Brain... Just with anything, I mean, just attack it and use bio with Rydia, and uh, you'll take out the Chimera Brain without an issue. So we'll go back to the Avenger. And then from that point on, I like to use Reflect to kill the Trapdoor in the second fight to get the Beast Area Entry for that. Uh, I'm gonna need the Chimera Brain, so that's, that's worrisome to me. I don't know why that happened. But whatever, we'll, we've got other opportunities. Well, let's see. Is this a dead-end room? I forget. Uh, let's see. 
let's see. Yes, into the door, and there should be a Kotetsu and an Ether in here. Yes, okay. Four vampire bats, and nothing too exciting about these guys. Same guys that come with the vampirus. They're just annoying because they do blood feast on you over and over and over and over again. But hopefully with Kane with the uh, Avenger. Man, he's fast. Let's see how good uh, Rosa does. Yeah, it's pretty good. Amazing how good that arrow setup is for her. Oh, these are Nagarajas. We've already fought them, but I haven't fought them here. If you didn't pick them up earlier, uh, you can pick them up now. Just attack them. Kane with the Avenger can also probably one-shot them. Yeah. They're no big deal. Oh, Mirage. That is Blink, but not completely Blink. It essentially is half a Blink spell. It's a user targeting spell, and it lets him dodge one physical attack guaranteed. It's pretty good, actually. Back to the previous room. And we're going to go southwest. To nab. Oh, by the way, that Kotetsu sucks. Uh, don't worry about it. Get another bestiary. I'll probably just sell the thing. I'm, never, I'm not going to use it. If you came here earlier, I guess it would be good, but nah, I didn't. Just a preemptive strike. Bio? Bio. Oh, Blizzaga is the tier 3 ice spell, if you couldn't figure that out. I don't care about freaking poison arrows. And speaking of Blizzaga, I should probably move it up. I don't think she gets Thundaga until level... What is it? Uh... 45? Yeah. Sounds about right. It would be really useful, but that's eh, not gonna happen. Okay, so let's try this again. I'm going to get the Ogre Killer. I would like it to summon a Brain. Eh, let's use Kiraga on everybody. And a Cure Spell. Get the Kiku Ichimanji on. And let's... Oh, I still kept the Avenger on, didn't I? Okay, well, yeah, that's... Oh, no, I didn't. Good. You know what? Jump. Haha. -ha. That's another way you can deal with jump. Come on, surprise. Surprise! Bio. You could also stop him if you wanted. Eh, yeah, might as well use it. He has an attack called Frost Breath. It deals damage based on his maximum, or current HP compared to his maximum HP, so... Uh, the more HP he has, the more damage it does, but just hit him with a nice bio right away and you'll be fine. If you really care about it, you could stop him. But, I don't think it's necessary. Get the Avenger back. Boom, there we go. Oh, you can also fight yellow dragons here. Uh, sometimes, instead of summoning a Chimera Brain, they'll summon a yellow dragon. If that happens, you stop immediately. Just trust me, you stop. Uh, make sure you've gotten a yellow dragon from the three-step peninsula if you're going for a 100% beast area. I would not recommend fighting him here. It just uh, isn't a good idea. High Potion and an Ether, I believe. Uh, we got all of the... Oh no, we're still missing Lesser Marillas, so let me get them. And they're right here! They are... Weak to Mage-type weapons. They're also considered Giants. Doesn't Edge have the Mage Master on? He does, it just didn't do very good against them. Oh no, they're giants, right? Yeah, they're giants slash machine type enemies, so angel arrows will do very good against them. 
So will the Ogre Axe, if you'd like to switch that in. Which, I might. For Cecil, here and there. It depends. Uh, during battle, if I feel like it. I brought it with me for that reason. Got a trap door. Now I'll show you the other means of dealing with it. Oh, I should have equipped the Kiko Ichimaji, but I forgot. It's fine. It's not that big a deal. So basically, just let Kane attack this guy. Get to Rosa's turn. Don't even worry about anything else. And cast Reflect. It's instant cast. Reflect whoever the target is. And if Kane doesn't manage to kill him, he will reflect that back at himself. It will kill him, and you will be very happy with yourself. If you are playing the After Years and you're finding a trapdoor, they are actually susceptible to stop. They are not susceptible to stop in this game. That is only in the sequel. So, yeah. That's the last trapdoor that I care about. But there's nothing behind these doors, but I want to take them out. So I'm going to kill this one and... Well, let's actually, you know, get the... Actually, no, there's no point in equipping the Kiku Ichimanji because I'm not going to attack. I've already got the Kamara Brain. Kane's only going to be doing the attacking because sometimes he can actually just kill them outright. So, all right. Yeah, I'll be back. All right, let's keep going. We'll go till we reach the save point. All right, we got a couple of ropes here. We're going to enter the west rope, not the other rope. It's a dead end, as you can see. At east. Gonna get a useless bestiary over here, sadly. Alright, backtrack. Should be a phoenix down to the right here. I've already got all the enemies, so I'll just edit out the rest of them. Okay. Unfortunately, there are a ton of doors here. We've got one. Two. Okay, well... But these guys are no threat. Ah, I hate Blood Feast so much! Ah, Kane, keep stealing Rosa's glory! Yeah, that happens a lot. Rosa hardly gets to even get a turn, but she does do good damage if she ever gets a turn. Which is pretty rare, but whatever. It's still worth it to take the arrows, I think. Three, four, five, and six. So basically from left to right, this one has nothing. This one has a lustrous sword in it. This one has a light curtain, Fumashirkin, and an elixir. The third door has nothing. Two has the save point. Oh god, screw that. <laughs> that would be the save point room. And then the first one has a black cow and a kotetsu. So there's nothing really good apart from the light curtain and the fumashuriken. But... I'm going to open them all off screen anyway for the experience. Oh, the fourth door, I believe, can summon a yellow dragon. So if you want to get it there, you can. But I would prefer not to. But I'm going to just open all these doors off screen and I'll be right back. Alright, let's keep going. I'm probably going to end it, like, here. <laughs> After I get these treasures. Oh. Okay, yeah, sorry, it's from left to right, so I was wrong. So, the first one, yeah, okay. I got it reversed order here. This one has the black cow and the kotetsu. I don't think the black cow is any good either. It actually isn't that bad, but you lose some strength. I don't think it's worthwhile. It does protect you from sleep, but we already have the prison garb for that. Yeah, I think the green beret is better. Uh... Getting ambushed by these guys is loads of fun because you get to go through two rounds of blood feast. Uh, normally I would just run from this, but yeah. I'm gonna have Kane use, or Edge use flame here because I hate these guys more than life itself. No, seriously, I hate these guys. And using flame on them satisfies me in... Well, I just enjoy watching these guys suffer, okay? Screw these bats. 
Just screw them. I hate them so much. You have no idea how much I hate those bats. They're the bane of my existence. Oops. I know that's the same way. This one has nothing, I believe. Yes. However, this one has... A monster encounter! Oh god. No, no, no. Not this time. I hate you guys so much. I haven't showed off this encounter. Oh, you know what? Ifrit! Yay! Maybe a uh, arrow from Radio. Normally I'd have Edge uh, take out the Vampiris. He's Ifrit. As I have uh, Rosa, Cecil, and Kane try to thin him out, but I got a nice preemptive there, so I'm just gonna use Ifrit right away. The Vampiris is not weak to fire, I believe. No, she is. She's weak to holy, she's not weak to throw elemental. They're both weak to fire. Okay, well here's two Vampiruses. Have Edge focus on one. And then we'll have... Oops, I screwed that up. I wanted to have Cecil attack the Vampiris. But whatever. Hopefully Edge will help me out. Or Kane. There we go. And then we'll have Rydia or Rosa take out that one. And maybe a quick fire spell. Well, actually, uh Kane will do the job for us. But yeah, I like to have Edge take out one of the vampiruses. Cecil and Rosa can team up to take out another one. And then, you know, maybe get an effort going. Or just let Kane take out the bats. A Fuma Shuriken? That's useful. Oh. You can randomly encounter Chimera Brain? Really? I didn't know that, actually. I'm quite surprised by that. I would like to get to Rose's turn. Yeah, that's that Frost Bass last attack, but I really don't care about it right here. Just have Rosa. Or... Kane can get two turns back to back and just annihilate them. Just gonna have Rosa take out that lesser Mer Merilith, but no, or Merilith, but eh, no, not today apparently, not today. So that was a elixir, I think. There's a light curtain over here. This room has an insane encounter rate. Light curtain, that's reflect. Hold on to that. It's really good. It's only on the user, I believe. Yeah, but it's really good. Same with that Fuma Shuriken. Hold on to that. That's a throwing item. I will throw it eventually. I don't need any of this junk down here. I'm probably not going to deal with my inventory for a little while. Man, getting ambushed by those Chimera Brains sucks. <laughs> you take so much damage from Frost Breath. I mean, it's five, six hundred damage to everybody. It's it's unpleasant to say the least. There should be a yeah. Okay. There's nothing in that last door, but there is a lustrous sword here. It would probably be good if I came here earlier. Let's take a look at it. Gives you some spirit and intellect, I believe. Maybe some strength. I don't know. No, uh, yeah, it does give you some strength, actually. Whereas the defender does not. And I think it would actually give him a multiplier. No, it doesn't. I wouldn't use it for a multiplier. I I'm probably just going to get rid of it. Probably just going to sell it at some point. I might actually throw it later in the game. I don't know. I probably will, actually. Even if it was going to give him a multiplier, I still wouldn't use it because the defender is just so good for the defense. I mean, Cecil really, really could use that defense. It helps him a lot. Let's cottage up. I'm going to end the episode here. Next time we'll finish off this area and get out of here. Hopefully with the crystal in, in our possession. Oh, there's another trap door, too, here. Eh. I might deal with them off-screen ahead of time. I probably will, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna go down there and take out that trap door before I start the next episode.
But anyway, I will see you on the next one. This is Ryzen. Thanks for watching. Take care.